watching News 4 at 4. Well, the goal is to save more lives. An innovative clinical trial is now underway that promises to get new breast cancer drugs to patients a lot sooner. Tracy Potts has that story. So when I was diagnosed, Jessica Galloway was a mother of three small children when she was diagnosed with an aggressive breast cancer. I was so terrified that I would have done anything. She joined a clinical trial that she believes saved her life, and now part two of the I Spy trial is beginning. They will be smaller and more efficient, which means the drugs will get to patients much faster. Researchers have learned every breast cancer is different. Drugs that work for some women are completely ineffective in others. So in this trial, they're using genetic biomarkers to test five drugs and create treatments specific to each patient. It's personalized medicine that could bring experimental treatments to high-risk women much sooner. When you're diagnosed, you need something now. They don't have 10 years for a drug, for the next new drug to come out. And we have all these drugs in the pipeline, and we don't have an efficient place or way to test them. The FDA is involved to fast-track those treatments that work trying to find the right drug for the right patient. And that is so important in cancer because these drugs are so toxic. And the three drug companies involved are sharing their data. So when there's a breakthrough, other manufacturers will have a roadmap for creating more life-saving treatments. The trial will cost $26 million and last five years. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. With conventional trials, it can take a billion dollars in 10 years or more to bring a new drug to the market.